Next result, assume numbers A and B are coprime, or GCD of A and B is 1, and assume B divides number AC. And uh, since A and B are coprime, we have to have that B divides C. Formulation of this result is quite obvious, but let's prove this result rigorously. Uh, since B divides AC, we have that AC is multiple, is multiple of B. And since AC is multiple of B, from previous results we know that divisors of these two numbers, AC and B, set of divisors of uh, these two numbers, AC and B, common divisors, coincide. And in particular, we have we have A, C and B, GCD of these two numbers, AC and B, is equal to B. This is our previous result, check it. And uh, since GCD of AC and B is equal to B, and uh, since A and B are coprime, then from result before this result, previous result, we know that this is equal to GCD of C and B. Uh, let's rewrite it. Let's uh, rewrite it, and uh, we will have that GCD of C and B is equal to B. And since B is GCD of these two numbers, C and B, B divides C and B, or, or B divides C. And this is what we need. So we have B div divides C, and we wanted to prove this, B divides C. Let's formulate our result again. If we have two numbers, A and B, co-prime, and B divides AC. In this case, since B and A are co-prime, B has to divide C. Okay, let's formulate last result related to GCD of numbers. Assume we have set of numbers A1, A2, and so on, AM. Assume we have another set of numbers B1, B2, and so on, BN. So we have uh, two set of numbers. And assume that each A, any A from the first set, let's call it AI, is coprime with any element of the second set. So AI is coprime with BG. In other words, each element of the first set is relatively prime to each element of the second set. In this case, we have that multiplication of AIs, A1 times A2 times and so on AM, let's denote it as denoted as big A, is relatively prime with multiplication of the numbers of the second set, B1 times B2 times and so on, Bn. Let's call it B. So in this case, A and B are relatively prime. How to prove this result? Uh, first of all, the first step, assume um, GCD, or greatest common divisor of multiplication A1, times A2, times and so on, AM, we called it A, and any number of the second set, BG. Uh, so this is greatest common divisor of number A, which is multiplication of the numbers of the first set, and any number of the second set. Using our previous result, since by um, condition of our result, of our theorem, this number AI and any number of the second set, BG, is relatively prime, we can write, using previous result, this is equal to multiplication of A2 times, and so on, AM, and uh, GCD of these two numbers. So we got rid of the first number, AI, A1, sorry. Uh, using the same argument, since A2 and BG are relatively prime, we can write it as A3 times, and so on, AM and BG. And since, again, A3 is co-prime with BG, we can continue our process up until we have the last element, AM and BG, and uh, by the condition of our theorem, this is equal to 1. 
So in other words, in other words, GCD of A and BG is one. Okay. And the second step of our theorem, we will show that GCD of B1 times B2 times and so on Bn and A, which is multiplication, as I said, of these numbers. Let's show that since this is actually our B, let's show that GCD of A and B or B and I, B and A, is equal to 1. And this will be the proof of our result, proof of our theorem. Once again, using uh, that B1 is co-prime with A, we show this here in first step, we can write, we can get read of B1 and write this is equal to B2 times and so on, Bn and A. Next, since B2 and A are co-prime, we can get rid of B2 and write B3 times and so on, Bn and A. And using this process, uh, we will have the last Bn and A. And GCD of these two numbers, as we know from the first step, from uh, this step, is equal to 1. That's all. This is the proof of our theorem, since we uh, we prove that GCD of these two numbers, B and I, or A and B, is equal to 1. Let's formulate our theorem again. Once again, we prove that GCD of A, big A, and big B is 1, or big A and big B are co-prime. Let's formulate our result again. Assume we have two set of numbers, A1, A2, and AM, and the second set is B1, B2, and BN. Assume each element of the first set is co-prime or relatively prime with each element of the second set. In this case, multiplication of these two sets, multiplication of the elements of the first set is co-prime with the multiplication of all elements of the second set. That's all. Thank you very much for your attention.